Hello and welcome back to another Cookie Deck video. So today I'll be teaching you on how you can add rich text inside of your game. Rich text essentially allows you to edit specific parts of a string. If you've ever heard of HTML you'll find this really easy. And if we head over here inside of my Roblox Studio over to this text you can see I have a few examples of me using rich text. So you can see how I can customize specific parts of a string. For example, I crossed out this statement, I made one word underlined, I made one word big, and I made one word small. So now edge text can basically be a little complicated at times, so I'm going to try and explain it to you best I can. And now when we're using rich text, we use specific tags. I'll show you a few tags for you on the screen, they should be popping up. And if you'd like a list of all the tags, there will be a link in the description down below where you can view all the tags. And now these tags have a beginning and they have an ending tag. So I'll just give you an example on how we can make a specific word bold. So first we put down our sentence, then we get the beginning tag and that goes in front of the word we want to edit. And then behind the string or the part of the string we want to edit, we'll put the end of the tag or the ending tag. And there you can go, now we can make a specific word bold. So now that you understand the basics, I'll show you how to do this inside of Roblox Studio. So we're going to go to screen UI, we're going to add a screen UI in, and then we're going to add a text label in there. Then you can customize this of course, I'm just going to go with this, I'm not going to make it look too pretty. I'm just going to make it text scaled. And now I'm going to show you on how you can make a specific word a specific colour. So I'm going to set this to I am red. And now we're going to make the word red, red. So we're going to use the font colour tags. I'll put them up on the screen for you. There's the beginning tag and there's the ending tag. So what's really important and one of the most crucial parts is that you make sure that rich text is enabled. So you click this and then after this, you see at the beginning we want red, so we're going to move over. We're going to paste that in. And then we're going to leave it like that. So you can see it says font color equals, and then it has a string here. Now we want to put in a specific hex value inside of there. So let's get a color, let's just make a dummy part. And then we're going to color this dummy part to let's say red, so here's our dummy part. And you can see I'm now going to make it the color red. So to do that I can press color, and I'm going to set it to red. And you'll see underneath that there will be this little thing that says HTML, hashtag and then this number. Right click that and copy that and then we can cancel and close out of here and then in that string we're going to go back to editing it and then in here we're going to paste in that value. Now we need to put our ending tag on and you'll see the ending tag will come up on screen and then so we're going to type this ending in and we're going to use our two hours and then we're going to put slash font and then enter and there you go we can customize the strings to our liking so now that's all for today's tutorial i know this was a bit of a short one but you know it was easter last week and i had a lot of things to do like working on antarctica story and all of that um so that's all for today's tutorial feel free to go to the link in the description down below where there's a more in-depth tutorial and there'll be a table with all the tags you can use that's all for me thank you for tuning in and bye bye